you can't make love on a hungry belly. Okay. okay. What do you think that means? You can't make love on a hungry, meaning you can't make love on a hungry belly. You gotta eat first and then make love. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Coco Caviar. So this week's video, we are going to be doing something with a bit of a twist and something more authentic to my Trinidadian roots. So what I'm going to be doing is basically testing Adam on local Trinidadian slangs, phrases, proverbs, sayings, and um, basically very colloquial words and yeah. phrases. I'm a, I, I'm, yes. The theme of it is mostly going to be relationship related. So it's going to be um, couples, things, and um, different terms we have for different phases of a relationship. Or um, saying from our older folks that they would tell us um, when you're courting. So that's going to be the basic theme of it. Um, Fawine? Fawine? Okay. So it's pronounced Fawini. Fawini. So what do you think that means? <sighs> for Winnie, you're full of you're, you're full of crap. Full of crap. Yes. Because you think it comes from like being a phony or something. Yes. Okay. So it actually I'm trying to read the answers. I can't see you. <laughs> ain't moving your hands so fast. So it actually means it's like when you're showing off, but it's showing off in the sense of you and someone, another guy, are pursuing the same girl. Right. But you locked out a new one. Yeah. And she has interest in you. Yeah. So basically, you're like showing yourself off. You're flaring yourself, showing off against your rival. Got it. That you had the same crush on. Got it. Okay. Right? Yeah. All right. Um, oh, I'm gonna screw this up. <laughs> you, you see, I make Louie on a hungry belly. Okay, no. Well, your writing sucks. Look at it closer if you need to. Yeah. Uh huh. See ya. No, this is C Y A. See ya. All right, go ahead. Yeah, see ya. C Y A. Okay. Yeah, see ya. Make love. Yeah, see ya. Make love on a hungry belly. All right. So what it actually is. So what it actually says is. That's that is how it is. Okay, but I. I'm going to tell you what it is now. Go ahead. Okay. So it, what it actually says is you can't. You can't make love on a hungry belly. Okay. What okay. do you think that means? You can't make love on a hungry meaning you can't make love on a hungry belly. You gotta eat first and then make love. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what is so this is something um the older folks would tell younger people. So it's basically saying that love isn't everything. Okay. Oh yes, you can't so make love on a hungry belly, which means food, exactly. shelter, all Providing. that stuff. Right? So therefore, as a yes. young lady, and like your grandparents are seeing you going yes. after this guy that's not ambitious or isn't prepared oh, to look at that. Isn't prepared to provide for his Pretty family, good. and it'd be like you can't make love on a hungry belly. So therefore. He needs to be able to put gotta, food on the table, yes. put a roof over your head, take care of you. Priorities. And not just him, you for yourself as a young lady should be able to do these things for yourself. You can't, you can't make love on a hungry belly. You can't make love on a hungry I belly. I said see ya. Okay. <laughs> uh, said I just said it wrong. Alright, what's next? Bazudi. Bazodi. 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 What do you think Bazodi means? Bazodi. 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 Okay. Someone like saying Bazodi. No, ba Bazodi. Bazodi. Okay, baby. Bazodi. Yes. What do you think that means? I have no idea. I'm not even close. Well, just guess anything. Um, Bazodi. I have no idea. You're a bad driver? You're Bazodi? <laughs> Somebody's cutting you off, you're like, that Bazodi? That no, bad driver? No, 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 no. Right. So, Bazodi has been used have in... Have you ever heard of this before? Yes, yes. So, basoli has been used in multiple ways. So you can be basoli over music, in the sense of like soca. So you love your soca so much, you're just in it. You're basoli. You're crazed. Yes, you're crazed. 
So it's almost it. something like being smitten. Yes. But it can be used for music for Got a significant it. other. So you have basidy in the heights of it. It's basidy. sweet, it's nice, and it take your take control of your body. So it's usually a lot of times saying your basidy with music. There's soca songs with it. Oh. Okay. So it's like you're in the heights of it. It's so sweet. You're like, oh yeah. my gosh, this is so awesome. You're basidy. Got it. Come see me and come live with me. W I T. Come live with me is two different things. What's that? So come see me and come live with me is two different things. What do you think that means? What's this? What's this? That's a, that's separate. That's another one. Okay. Come see me and come live with me is two different things. Oh, I mean it's pretty obvious. I mean, right. don't judge a book by its cover. You know what you see. You know is going to be completely different than what. I am. Yes, so that's the general gist of it. So usually, again, um, when people are dating and they're smitten, they're basuli, they're tutu baby, they love, you know? And everybody's like, hold up, hold up. Let's take it slowly because guess what? There are two different individuals. The individual that you date and you see for a couple hours a day or for a weekend is completely different from the individual that you might live with for a year or two. Because people tend to show their true colors when they get more relaxed and comfortable. Correct. So come see me as in come visit me. Yes. And then come live with me. It's two, two different, different things. things. Got it. Sout. Suit. Suit. S-O-U-T. Yes. Suit. What do you think that, what do you think that means? Suit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm way <laughs> off. The point of it is for you to guess. Come on. Guess. You're smart. I know you. Not with Trinidadian lingo, cultural lingo. I've been doing <laughs> horribly. No, because yes. I really pulled out some ones that I think Suit. You, you, you've never I'm mad of. I didn't get Bazzotti. You don't have to be mad. Sweetie. Don't worry. You can't make love on a hungry belly. <laughs> Come on. What do you think? Suit. Oh, God. I don't know. Nothing's coming to me. All right. So, so to suit is how guys, Trinidadian guys that are very um, forward, would call out to a girl. I would never guess that. That's right. That's what it is. So, what do you call that? What do you call as an American, like a guy calling out to a girl on the street? So, let's say a girl's a gorgeous girl is walking by. You think she's attractive. And a guy says, howl, You're howling out, you're howling at her. Right, so basically it's yes. suits. So, so basically, like, so there are different ways you can suit someone. So sometimes guys will go, pss, pss, literally, and that's their way of trying to get your it's attention. Not a, not a bad thing. So it's very, yes, yeah, so it's, it's a bit more subtle. Yeah. And then sometimes they do a thing with their mouth and they go, pss, darling. <laughs> literally, that's what they do. <laughs> I'm trying, trying a little too hard there. I'm trying to okay. like, Got it. That's what it is. So they're suiting. So sometimes when a guy is pursuing you, they'll call him a suito. Yeah. Uh, okay. So if it was, yes. If I saw suitor, so like suitor is spelled S-U-I-T-O-R, then obviously, but suit. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's a derivative of a suitor. Yes. I've spelled my way of what it would be. Yes. I understand. Okay. Yes. So you learned some new stuff today. You know a couple old ones. How do you feel? Do you uh, find I them wanna, interesting? Is there uh, so anyone me, that stood out to you? Well, I like sweet rice. You've you like sweet, sweet rice? You've sweet rice. It's me. not sweet, it's sweat rice. Sweat rice. <laughs> I did it again. Sweat rice. Uh -huh. Okay, it doesn't make sense to say sweat rice. But okay. Well, to it's because of how it's prepared. Toto Bay means what again? It's to be smitten. Toto Bay is smitten. Fufulu. Fufulu is an advanced stage of tobacco. Right, so fufufu -fu -fu is an advanced. Fawini is Fawini. when you outdo your rival right. and showing off. You're so peacocking. basically, yes, you're peacocking. You're peacocking. You're peacocking. Got you got it. You can't make love on a hungry belly. I got that one. Bazuri means you are. Bazuri. Bazuri means you're excited about pretty much anything. No, it's not about being excited. It's like you're, you're in the club. Your music. Let's say you're in the club and, and their favorite song comes on yeah. in that moment. Got it. And it's like you're just into the moment. You feel like. You feel like extremely happy and euphoric. You're basoli. Got it. Yes. It's Basidi. not bar, it's ba. Baz ba. Ba. B A. Not bar. I said ba. Alright, ba so di. Ba so di. Okay. Well you but you say it. Guys tell me if you sing it the same way I'm I am, because I feel like I'm not hearing it the same way. Ba ba. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come right. see me, come live with me is two different things in suit. Got it. All right. All right. All right. Good job, baby. All right. All right. I'll use a couple of these. I'll yeah. use a couple of these. Yes, I will. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to see, Mimi? I'm finished. Thank you. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to look up for our next video. We had so much fun making this video for you. Please give us a thumbs up. Smash that notification bell. Share this video if you thought it was funny or interesting. And don't forget to subscribe. If you would like to keep up with us on a more regular basis, on a daily basis, check out our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.